Eat all stone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, good morning. We are celebrating the second Novena Mass in honor of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. And this is offered in the name of the Vicariate of the Epiphany of the Lord, Lingayen. My dear brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, grant that the Church, the chaste bride of Christ, may keep unbroken the new covenant of love, and like your humble handmaid who presented to you in the temple the author of the new law, may the Church keep its faith unspotted, grow in hope of heaven, and deepen its heartfelt love for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book 
of the prophet Malachi. The Lord says, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's life. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi. Refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Lift up your heads, O gates. Rise up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may enter. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, a mighty warrior. The Lord, mighty in battle. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Lift up your heads, O gates. Rise up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may enter. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Simeon came in the spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, Simeon took Jesus into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The father and mother of Jesus were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother. Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
Once again, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We are blessed today to have with us in this celebration, Reverend Father Joey Paras from the Salishans of St. John Bosco, who read the Gospel today. I would like to greet you a advance happy fiesta this coming October 3 for the celebration of the October Feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. And secondly, I would like to greet you also an advance Merry Christmas because today is September 25, exactly three months from now, we will celebrate Christmas. And we pray, we hope, and we wish that uh, this coming Christmas, we will be able to embrace, hug, and uh, make beso beso with one another. Oh, how we wish and how much we miss hugging each other. Celebrating Christmas with hugs is far, far much better than celebrating it with face masks and face shields. So we continue to pray to the Lord and to our Blessed Mother that this pandemic will end soon. The Gospel which we have heard today is the Gospel which was read last September 15 during the celebration of the Feast of the Our Lady of Sorrows. And this is also the Gospel which will be read on the occasion of the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord during Christmas season. And I would like to center my reflection on the, the line which says, A light for revelation to the Gentiles. Because Joseph and Mary did not only bring to the temple a baby boy, they did not only bring Jesus, the child, in the temple, but they brought a light, liwanag, ilaw, natatanglaw. And every light has a source. Lahat ng liwanag na nakikita natin may pinanggagalingan. Yang ilaw na nasa chandelier from, I do not know if it is Sentelco also here. No? The candles from the wax. No? At yung sun sa labas ay galing sa helium. No? So, lahat ng liwanag ay may pinanggagalingan. Yung lampara, yung oil. At kapag naubos yung pinanggagalingan ng liwanag, natural lang na mamamatay ang ilaw. Kapag nag-brown out, sabay na sabay sumisigaw ang mga tao, ay, brown out. Kapag naubos na yung wax ng kandila, it will be extinguished. And my dear brothers and sisters, as it was mentioned in the Gospel, a light to reveal to the Gentiles. Jesus is that light. And every one of us, la tayo ay may liwanag din. Ikaw ay may liwanag sa puso mo. A human person has a light. At ano yung light ng human person? Ano yung liwanag ng bawat tao na tumatanglaw sa madilim nating dinaranas ngayon sa panahon ng pandemya? Kabaitan ng puso. Kahit gaano kadilim ang sinusuong natin, lumiliwanag kapag merong mga taong may goodness, may kindness. Sa madilim na komunidad, sa madilim na pamilya, sa madilim na simbahan, lumiliwanag ito 
kapag may mga taong may mabuting puso. Pero, kagaya ng binanggit ko, minsan ang liwanag sa puso ng tao may pinanggagalingan din. At pagminsan, kapag iba yung pinanggagalingan, madali, madali ding ma-extinguish o mamatay. Kasi may mga taong mabait kapag mabait lang din ang nasa paligid. Maganda ang kalooban kapag medyo maganda lang ang buhay. Nawawala ang kanilang bait sa paligid kapag nawawala na rin ang bait o ang mga mabait sa kanila. Kaya nga may mga tao tayong nasasabi, no? Dati ang bait-bait niyan, anong nangyari sa kanya? No? Dati napakabuti niyan, eh. Bakit ngayon parang medyo masama na yata, madilim na yata? Pagminsan, may mga tao ding ang kanilang liwanag, kabaitan, kabutihan, ay nakasalalay lang kapag GBGB lang ang buhay. Happy-happy lang kasi maraming pera, maraming material na bagay. Kapag maraming pera, mabait. No? Meron ba kayong kilala? Kapag walang pera, mainit ang ulo. Pag walang pera, laging nakasimangot at galit. Pero kapag binigyan mo ng pera, ah, happy-happy na uli. Mabait kapag may pera. Pero kapag wala ng pera, mainit ang ulo, laging galit, masungit, wala na sa mood. Ganon din kapag maganda ang buhay, may kabaitan. Pero kapag dumaranas na ng kahirapan, humihinto na rin ang kabutihan. Alam nyo sa pandemyang ito, dito lalabas ang tunay na liwanag ng bawat Pilipino. Ang tunay na kabutihan at kabaitan ng bawat isa. Ngayong karamihan ay nagihirap, nawawala ng pera, medyo pasakit ang nasa paligid, pero mabait at mabuti pa rin. Nakakatulong at nakakangiti pa rin. Bakit? Saan nang gagaling yung liwanag na iyon? Bakit hindi na uubos? Bakit hindi na mamatay? Bakit hindi nawawala? Yun ang iniaabot ng ating mahal na ina. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag is handing to us the true source of light na hindi mawawala, na hindi mapupundi kahit anuman ang danasin sa buhay. Kaya nga inaabot niya sa iyo ngayon si Jesus so that you will have light in your life and you will share this light so that this light will never be extinguished whatever your experience may be. Kaya sana mga minamahal na kapatid sa pagsisimba natin dito sa Our Lady of Manawag Tanggapin natin ang dinala ni Maria sa templo. Ibinibigay niya sa atin si Jesus. Lumapit tayo sa pinanggagalingan ng tunay na liwanag, tunay na kabaitan, si Jesus, si Jesus. In this Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, let us thank the Lord for giving us a true light that will never be extinguished if He will be in our hearts, if He will be in our lives, especially in this time of pandemic. Tanggapin natin ang binibigay ni Apo Bakit sa atin, si Jesus, ang tunay na pinanggagalingan ng liwanag na hindi nawawala. Amen. Please all stand.
Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, May your mother intercede for us, O Lord. May your mother intercede for us, O Lord. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men and women who have been called to serve your people the joyful abundance of your grace, that they may become living witnesses of your love in their vocation of wholehearted service, we pray. May Mary, your mother, intercede for us, Lord. You taught Mary to seek the glory of God above all else. Grant that our government leaders may through their sincere desire for the greater glory of God lead the people towards the real and integral progress of society and humanity. We pray. Mary, your mother, intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Through her intercession, grant strength to the weak. Comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all, we pray. Mary, your mother, intercede for us, Lord. Mary received God's word with an open heart. May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our life under God's loving protection, we pray. Mary, your mother, intercede for us, Lord. You crowned Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the members of our community who have died rejoice in your kingdom with your saints forever. We pray. Mary, your mother, intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives. We pray. Mary, your mother, intercede for us, Lord. For those who are affected and afflicted by COVID-19, especially our healthcare providers and frontliners, the sick, and those who have died, may through the guidance and grace of the Lord, the government and private agencies swiftly find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray. Mary, your mother, intercede for us, Lord for our personal intentions, and for the intentions of Our Lady of Manawag devotees, friends, and benefactors, we pray. Mary, your mother, intercede for us, Lord. We include in these intentions the Vicariate of the Epiphany of the Lord, especially the Parish of the Epiphany of the Lord, Co-Cathedral Parish, St. Rose of Lima, Dumalandan, Chapel of the Resurrection, Baay, and the uh, Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish in the Galgal. Let us also remember in this Mass all those who are asking for our prayers, especially those who are sick, those who are going through problems, crises, and hardships in life. And we especially pray for all the faithful departed, especially members of our families, relatives and friends who have gone ahead of us. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. All-powerful God, we rejoice in the protection of the Holy Virgin Mary. May her prayers help to free us from all evils here on earth and lead us to eternal joy in heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive with favor, O Lord. Be as the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. So lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit.
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Kapayapaan po sa inyong lahat.
My dear friends, this is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Mary, the one who will give us light and warmth and love. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive him in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please all stand. Let us pray. Lord God, grant that by the power of the sacrament we have received the Virgin Church, like the Virgin Mary, may serve you with undivided heart. Be attentive to the voice of the Spirit, and with the lamp of faith burning brightly, go out with joy to meet the Bridegroom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please the be Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and all your loved ones, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We will now pray for the sick, prayer for the blessing of the sick, and afterwards we will pray for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. We especially pray for those who are infected with COVID-19, those who are in the hospitals and in their homes right now, that our good Lord may extend His healing hand upon them to heal them, bless them, and uh, touch them. Let us pray. God, our, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now bless the rosaries and other religious articles. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life and death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 